uh, this video is green video so in my system this type of video the green video is to tell you the main points of a chapter and also you can use this green video to study and learn how to answer a 10 mark question because the exam examiner may not ask you questions about how to analyze customer needs or how to design a product they will ask you to describe the whole system and analyze and design in that case you really have to talk about all six areas okay so system design and analyze is a system or is a procedure that shows you how to design an IT product. The IT product can be an Excel document. You can use this. I will explain to you why. You need to go through this six stage. Or you can establish a database of student information for the school. That's a system and you need to go through the six stages to develop a workable system. Okay, so in very general term, you have six stages. These are the key words. The first step, you analyze the customer needs. Okay, let me give you an example and I pick a very simple example and something that's relevant to your life as well. You are a high school student and the, the kitchen staff, the tuck shop people want you to make a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet has to show the profit and loss of the kitchen and this profit and loss of the kitchen also includes uh, the price of the the price and the cost of buying the ingredients. You are not developing something that's overly difficult, but just an Excel file with formula. Okay, so now you got this job and you have to design a system that can tell the kitchen staff or a system, in this case, an Excel document that a kitchen staff can use. So what's your first step? Your first step is to analyze their needs. So you go and talk to them. What do they need? What do they want to show in the Excel document? And then the next step is design. So you know what they want. So you go home, use your own computer, start to design an Excel file. In Excel file, based on what the customer, the kitchen staff, depends on what the kitchen staff needs, you decide on how many headings you want to put in there. And in the heading, you must have, say, ingredients, the cost, and the ticket sold, and the price of the ticket, and things like that. So in that case, you design, usually on this stage, you use a pen on paper. And then you move on to the next stage. Now I want you to highlight in your notes these two words, development and testing. This is a multi, it, you have to go backwards and forwards. You do some work, test it, correct the mistakes, and then you go back and do the same thing again. So this is where you start to put things on the Excel, start typing your words in and start to put a formula in. And maybe formally, I should say, because you need more than one formula there. So once you have used it and you put in a formula and put in a formula, then you think it's, it's good, then you move on to the next stage, that's implementation. You go back to the kitchen with a USB. In the USB, you have stored the Excel file. So you tell them, the kitchen staff, now I can load this document to your computer in the kitchen now. So you start to load it. 
okay and if the kitchen staff use it and they think it's good and then you can start to write some notes you talk to the kitchen staff let them see how they use and what questions they have then you keep a record of the questions so that you can write a note about how to use your complicated excel file to be honest the excel file is not as simple as a lot of students think it's got thousands of features there no one can claim that you are an expert okay and then after you have got the information about how the kitchen staff use it and then you write down what they need how to use it and what sort of computer they need then you move on to the next stage that's evaluation and review you let the kitchen staff use it and then you go back after one week and let them ask you questions and you answer them and there's a chance that you have to uh, delete the whole file and take the Excel file home and then you do some more modifications okay so this is the sixth stage of uh, system analyze and design these are the six important steps you must follow in order to design an IT product such as website, an Excel document, a database, and a software program.